All right, hey guys, we are back for a full workout with dumbbells. So if you have dumbbells, this one's gonna be for you. Also, I'm actually gonna be showing you how you can have just one pair of dumbbells. So I'm just gonna have uh, 15s and do a full workout with just these. And we'll be able to kind of switch these exercises around to make them work. Maybe we'll use one dumbbell with both hands. So that's a good way to do it. So let's get started warming up. We're actually gonna grab the dumbbell that we're using to start this warm up. So we're gonna get stretched wide legs. I'm gonna reach down over to the left. Yeah, just one. And then pull them back up. And then all the way over to the other side. Good assistance stretch on the hips, side of the body. And today, we're gonna be focusing on a total body workout with the dumbbells. So we wanna get everything pretty stretched out. Let's go just to the middle, right back up. Letting the legs be straight, tiny bend. Feel the stretch on the back of the legs, couple more. So we're gonna go through two circuits, each of three exercises. Right back up. And we're gonna do the upper and lower. So grab your dumbbell. What we're gonna do is start down here in front of us. We're gonna pick it up, twist all the way up around the head, all the way back down. You have a couple ways you can do this. Keep going where you're bringing it all the way down, or if you want, all the way up, try to keep it in front of the face, and you're just gonna go right back. So we're just warming up the shoulders a little bit. So you're gonna wanna pick a weight if you just have a pair. Well, use whatever you have, but if you have a couple options, you're gonna wanna pick a good medium weight. We don't want it to be too heavy, but we're also not doing anything where you need a really light dumbbell. So now we're gonna Put this guy right on the ground, over to the side. We, we are in, no we're not, wide legs. <laughs> Reach down. So what I want you to do from here is walk the hands forward, wide legs. Okay, you might wanna move your stuff, there we go. Good, so legs are nice and wide. And then I'm gonna bring one arm up and out and give it a twist a little bit, and then right back down. We're going other side, same thing. There we go, and just back and forth, legs are wide. Squeezing the stomach. Now we're gonna start adding in a leg. Left leg, or left leg's down, right leg through, and then the left arm's up, there we go. And then all the way back, if I set it right this time, now left leg through, right arm up. So now we're getting more of that core workout. Rest when you need to, but we're gonna get a couple more. Need to really get these arms and shoulders warmed up. So we're doing a lot of pressing. And last one. Then we're gonna walk the hands all the way back to the feet, standing tall. Shake it out a little bit. So this next thing we're gonna do is kind of a movement that we're gonna practice during the whole exercise or workout today. Feet together, we're gonna come forward, keep these a little, so we don't want them too close, but they're together, not a wide stance, almost in between hip width. And then we're gonna come down, reach, tiny bend in the knees, and then we're gonna come back up and squeeze the glutes. So it's almost like we're holding something, reaching down, Tiny bend in the knees, up, squeezing the glutes. So I just want you to do this a few times, so much that you start to feel the glutes get a little active. And rotate the feet in the ground so they're just staying straight, but you're trying to squeeze the feet outward without letting them do it. Just press through the heels, a few more. And last one. Nice job. Check that out. We should start to feel the legs get a little warm. We're gonna practice hip swings today with the dumbbell. So that's one that I kinda wanna get you guys comfortable with a little bit before we do it. So when we're doing these hip swings, we're gonna go a little wider than what we just did, but we're gonna kinda mimic that movement of what just happened. So we're gonna lean forward from the hips because it's a hip movement. Lean forward, 
and keep that tiny bend. We're gonna have the dumbbell in the hand. No dumbbell for now, I'm getting the motion. And what I wanna do is make sure my back's flat, tiny bend, and when I come up, I'm bringing the dumbbell up with me, my hand, and I'm squeezing the glutes. The dumbbell will come up in front, and I'm using the glutes to pull myself up and stand as tall as I can. So a lot of the times I see people do this and they don't go all the way up. They're almost hinged a little bit. So make sure we squeeze tight, standing straight and nice and tall, right? So that's gonna be one of the movements that we're gonna do today. I want you to practice this a couple times, maybe grab a lighter weight. So I'll grab my weight cause I'm only using two. So you guys can see Kendra over here is gonna have a few options. So she'll switch it up and show you the regressions to some of these exercises. So what you wanna do with this one is have the dumbbell in front of you. And when we start this movement, we wanna make sure we're reaching for the dumbbell, right? We don't want it in front, because then I gotta to try to start the momentum myself. And it doesn't work like that. We wanna make sure we're creating the momentum. So reaching in front, we're gonna grab the dumbbell sideways, just like so, and then pull it into the body. This is the point where we're with the knees bent a little bit, just like the position we were practicing. Hips hinged, and then I'm gonna use my glutes to thrust the dumbbell up, and the arm should pretty much touch the legs when I'm down here, and then throwing the dumbbell up, squeezing the glutes. And we only wanna to go to about this high. We don't wanna go overhead. So make sure when we do it, we're going to about right here, so you almost have some hang time with the dumbbell at the top, right? So we'll just demo hers real quick, leaning forward, good. And she can maybe have a little more bend in the knees. And that's great. So that's a movement I just wanna make sure you guys have down before we do it. All right, are you ready? So first circuit, we're doing for 50 seconds each movement. We're doing three movements. So it's total body, we're getting the legs, upper body, and the stomach as well. So for the first one, we're gonna start with squat thrusters. You're gonna grab both of your dumbbells and you're gonna hold them up here. For these, we don't want the legs too wide. Let's keep them in a little bit, and we're gonna squat down. Now, if you wanna regress it a little bit, she's just gonna do a shorter squat. So she's not gonna squat as low, and then she's gonna bring these overhead. Yep, and then straight overhead, perfect. She could even squat less than that, I would say. Especially if you're just a beginner with this one, barely use the legs. There we go, good job. And then for these, same exact thing, but we're just gonna try to get a little lower in the squat. So I wanna make sure you're getting the power from your legs. I'm gonna try to drop down, almost reach those elbows to the knees, press back up through the heels, and then thrust this overhead. So focus on keeping this close to the shoulder, and then when you press overhead, pressing straight up, getting the arm by the ear, not allowing it to go in front of your body, right? So that's number one. Number two is gonna be those dumbbell hip thrusters. It's gonna start in front of you. That's where we're gonna grab it, right? To create the momentum, bringing it in, squeezing the glutes, throwing it up. And you're doing this for 50 seconds. Now when we wanna slow it down, because it's momentum, try to bring it back here. Don't just try to drop it when you come down there, right? We wanna bring it back, stop that momentum, and swing it in. Good. So number three, this one's gonna be on the ground, give those legs a little bit of a rest. And we're gonna work pretty much the chest, upper part of the chest, the back and the lat muscles here on the side. And we're gonna engage and use the lower body as well. So it's a lat pullover with a leg lift. So I'll show you this kind of at an angle. If you're doing it hard, the harder version, legs straight, and then you're reaching the legs down and the arms overhead at the same time. So everything's down, heads down, back's flat, reaching that back, reaching the legs down, and then pulling all the way back up. And when you're doing this motion, you should feel a lot, especially down here, right there in the lat muscle, and then pulling back up, ton in the stomach, tiny bend in the elbows, legs are straight, if you're trying to do that more difficult version. Now, if you wanna make it a little easier, still a hard exercise for sure. Arms are up, perfect. Legs are bent, so now the lever's not as long, it won't be as hard. And then she's reaching back, perfect. And all the way up. Let's get one more. 
tiny bend and you don't have to reach for the floor, but you'll notice as you do it, you'll get a little better. The other thing to take note is the back, right? We want her back nice and flat. So she's gonna adjust a little bit, keep the back flat. Perfect, and then pull back up. Nice job, sweet. So all three of those. That one's tough, you might need a lighter weight. 10, 10 might be heavy, yep. Keep her back flat, ready guys? So circuit number one. She's ready, 50 seconds on the clock. Ooh, squat thrusters first. 50 seconds. I like starting the clock. Oh, yeah, not Get less low. times. That's right. yeah, not that low. No, no. Don't go super low. No, no. If we're trying to make it harder, we're bringing the elbows all the way down to the knees, throwing the weight up. This way we're getting a lot more engagement in the legs. And you're actually get more power to bring it overhead. So you might feel it's a little more difficult Ugh. if you have that little squat if your weights are heavier. But pick a medium weight. Got to do this three times, guys. Nice job. Keeping the weight close when we come down. Don't let it fall off the body. Keep sitting back. And good. All right, so that next one is where you're grabbing one weight. So I got a pair, dumbbells, and I get to use them. Yeah, you can try those. I get to use them for both exercises. So you don't need too many, too many dumbbells to get a good workout in one set. You'll get a good amount, different exercises that you can do different programs, so it's a good investment. Keep going. This is the one where if you're tired, I'm gonna just try to swing it down. Whew, rest the second, might be my excuse. Bring it in, and then keep going. Lean in forward, tiny bend in the knees, hang time at the top. Feel a lot in the glutes. Keep squeezing them at the top. And good. Slowly bringing her down. <laughs> Swung it. Tossed it. Problem with that is it'll hurt your back if you do it too much. All right, ready guys? So with this, could be holding the dumbbell just like so. This way it's good for me. Legs are straight. Remember, back flat on the ground. Back has to stay flat. Squeeze the stomach, tiny bend in the elbows. You may not reach the floor, but you'll notice you'll get a little more stretched out as we do this. Almost there, guys. Keep pushing. Maybe you start bending your legs a little bit. If they're straight, keep that form. And good. Whew. Nice work. <coughs> Shake her out. Got eight seconds. And we're right back to it. Okay, so we got these thrusters. You're in. Down low. Pushing through the heels. Don't forget to do that. Probably one of the most important parts, staying upright and pushing through the heels. Nice job, guys. You can count your reps, see how many you get each time. But one of the best exercises right here if you have a dumbbell. Whew. Pressing through those heels. Almost there, guys. Don't let those knees go in. Keep the knees out. And good. All right. Whew, all with one pair. She's got options. Hopefully you have options too. If not, oh, sorry, using that one. That works. Whew, here we go. Probably scoot up so I don't get the wall. 
Really squeeze the butt at the top. You want everything to be locked straight. There we go. Don't let the back round. Focus on keeping the shoulders back. Squeeze in the stomach at the top, along with the glutes. Do your best not to lean back into it. Just want to be straight. Almost there, guys. Get a few more if you can. Glutes and hamstrings should be burning. And nice and slow. Letting it go. Woo! Get warm. Here we go. Pull overs. At least we get to lay down for a second. Ready. Straight legs. Still. Yep. Or keep your legs up. And I'll stop mine to address that. That someone at home is feeling that too. Yep, then do that. And then keep the legs up. So then your focus is just pushing that low back into the ground as you bring the arms overhead. Yep, and then when you get better at it, you'll just start to reach and hold. So that way, you don't have to do the moving portion. It's still pretty hard. But yep, you'll still feel like it's pulling your body up. So that's why it's so good to do the arms and the legs. More the arms go overhead, more you stretch the upper stomach. Yeah, nice job. I got out of that one. <laughs> Just joking. I like this workout. Nice work. All right. Good job. I'm pause this for a second, give you guys a little bit of rest, and then right into it. Number three, we don't want too much rest in between these. It's all about the cardio. And back in, third round. Number three, this is it. Four seconds. Where's my 15? All right. Last one, guys. You're in. You got it. Pressing through the heels as much as you can. Keeping those knees out. Deep breath. It's also a core workout. Makes you have to stay upright. More upright you stay. Feel it a lot in the stomach. Deep breath, guys. Whew. Should be burning a little more than when we started. Shoulders should be awake. Okay. Shoulders are there. Ready? Almost done. I think. And good. Going down. One dumbbell. Back to it. Slide this over a wee bit. Here we go. Ready. Swinging the dumbbell in. As many as you can, guys. Rest when you need to. This is the last push, so you might as well try to stick with it the whole time. Squeezing the glutes at the top. Nice work. Last one of these hip swings. No hip swings in the next round. Sweat starting to fly everywhere. That's positive. Needed a good mopping. You got it guys, keep going. Just about there. Last few. One, slow her down. On to this last one, guys. Whew. Start at that hard version. Make it easier as you go. This is it. Legs straight, arms straight. Head stays down. Make sure the legs straight as you can if you're doing this one. And that back completely flat. You might be able to get the first five. Just bend those knees and keep going. The form is way more important. 
50 seconds of this. Probably not gonna get the whole 50. So make it a little easier. Just keep going. Almost there, guys. Last one. That's it. Dumbbell to the side. Shake it out. Get some rest. Good work, guys. All right, I'm tired and sweaty. So, positive. High five. Good work. All right, that's circuit number one. So we have one more of those to go through. So I'm dripping sweat. And circuit number two. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go, circuit number two. What we're gonna do is start on the ground with Renegade Rose. So let's have her demo these ones first. She's gonna do them on the knees instead of on the toes. So this is a little easier version of doing it. Where's your other 25? Using one? Only one. Oh, geez. Okay, well you would have two dumbbells. So we're gonna switch this out even though she can do 25. Okay. So you're gonna do both. Both hands on, there you go. And then we're just gonna pull back and forth. So if you do only have one, do the other version. <laughs> but if you have two, three, we're gonna yeah, shoot for this. Kind of yeah, that would be hard, but you can go halfway. So with this one, we're just squeezing the stomach and she's staying in that kneeling position. If she wants to make it a little harder, she's gonna bring her knees further back and then lean into it so that the shoulders are just right over the wrists. Well, and then you'll feel that a bit more in the stomach because now you're having to balance a bit more. And then one step further, you're jumping all the way up onto the feet, wider the legs, easier it'll be for the balance, right? So with this one, we wanna go pretty wide legs and then side to side. Also, if this one is one that bugs the wrist or anything, you can of course always just be on the ground and then do one side and I would just transfer the dumbbell. So then you don't have to rest the hand on the weight if that's something that bugs you a little bit. Yep, so you can do one and then just transfer, row on that other side, row that way. Good? So you bring your feet on this guy. A lot harder it is because you want to fall right over, right? So next one, we're going to do straight leg deadlifts to upright rows. So pretty much. Uh, progression and regression will be about the same. Uh, I'll show you the regression for the progression, the harder one with upright rows, something to think about. This is an upright row. With these ones, we're never bringing these up here, right? So upright row with a barbell, I never really do. We're in a good position. So we're just pulling up on it a little bit because we want that elbow to stay well below the shoulder. We don't want to make it go up uncomfortable position. So straight leg deadlift, if we're from the side, tiny bend in the knees, reaching down, coming up, and then we're just pulling. So reaching down, coming up and pulling. Same thing. So we don't wanna make that mistake, right? Pulling super far up. We wanna just pull up just a wee bit. And when we go down, right. it's like you're staying pretty close to the shins. Yep, staying pretty close. Don't let the dumbbells go too far away from you. But if you want to think, just let them do their thing as they go and stay close to the legs. Okay. So this. Yep. And then for her, yep, but see how her elbows went way up here. Yeah, I felt that. Yep, way too far. Okay. Leaning in right there. Good. That's perfect. And then if we just want to make it a little easier, she's just not going to lean forward as far. Okay. So just lean and then come right back up. Good. Good. So that way we're just making it a little easier learning that control, right? So if you want, just like that, two dumbbells. If you don't have two, you can always just do one side at a time. That works just fine and just switch off each round with us. So on the last one, we're on the ground. One more, making sure you guys get up and down. We're in a plank and this is where we use just one dumbbell, wide legs, bring them in if we want to make it a little harder. And what we're going to do is start with this dumbbell on the left side of our body and we're going to try to reach that right hand through to grab the dumbbell and pull it through to the other side and then stay down again. So what we're doing when I pick up my left hand is I'm crunching over, getting my stomach to crunch and twist and then I'm pulling it over using the shoulder and the arm. So it's a good full body workout and a lot on the balance. 
So if we want to make that a little easier, she can do that same exact thing, just on the knees instead. And the dumbbell, make sure it's below your hands. Pulling through, bam, on the knees. And then same thing applies here, guys. If you're on your knees and you're leaning forward, it's gonna be a little harder. So, and that applies for push-ups or anything where you regress it to your knees. When you're in this position, you're making it more difficult. Yep. Yep. Bam. Awesome. All right, guys, ready? Circuit number two. Here we go. Same deal. 50 seconds. Last bit. <sighs> Trying to prep myself. Renegade rows first. And you're in. Whatever version you're on. I got my legs out. Switching both times. Really try not to rotate the body. Stay flat in the plank when you pull the dumbbell up. And you don't want to slam her down too hard, right? Bring it up, control on the way down. Squeeze in the stomach. And you could do this version. This one's great. Works just the same. Rotating the dumbbell either side if that's a little easier on your hands. Whew, okay, now I'm feeling it. That's why I got one pair, 15 pounds. That's all I need, even though I could do 70. These 15s are getting me tired. All right, next one. Jumping up, making you guys get down, get up. Get up, get down. Okay, straight legs. Here we go, tiny bend in the knee, dropping down, pulling up to about there. Another thing to think of when you're doing it, like I didn't, don't pull close together. Bring those dumbbells away from each other. So lean in forward, dumbbells away. There you go, guys. Back staying nice and flat. When we go down, we're not rounding the back. Don't let those elbows go above the shoulders, Ken. That's my tendency. Don't do it. It's hard. You just show good form. <laughs> let them know at home how it's done. <laughs> You're doing great. Almost there, guys. Shoulders are on fire. Whew. Squeeze the stomach. You got one more on that plank. And good. Whew. Yeah. And then, yep, shoulders, traps. It's a good, that's a good movement instead of shrugs. All right, guys, planks. You're in, dragon, side to side. Oh yeah, side to side. And you're in a plank on one arm for a second. So another reason why it's so difficult. Just smashing the wall. Holes going through the wall. There's a cider company over there, guys. <laughs> Trying to smash in. <laughs> Keep going, guys. We're almost there. Pulling back and forth. Deep breath. Don't let those hips sag. All right? Keep them up. Hips staying high. This is a good back workout, too. Getting that pull. He's getting tiring now. We're almost there. A long time. Dragging. Ugh. All right, that is no joke. Shake it out, guys. Got to go straight in, do it at least for one of these rounds. Oh, stay on the ground. Yep, stay on the ground. Okay. I'm just shaking it out. Huh. Right. Okay, you're in. So if you're doing one, one at a time, twist them back on the knees or jump up on those feet. There you go, guys. Good work, deep breath. Keeping the body flat. Remember, try not to rotate the body out too much. Taking away from the core work we're doing and cardio, because I'm sweating. Almost there, guys. Squeeze the stomach. Getting close. Back and forth. Hips staying high on this one. And that was my last one. Nice job. Matt's getting sweaty. Here we go. Upright rows.
One dumbbell, feel free. Using one at a time. And remember when we're doing these, that tiny bend. We don't want to lock the knees. We want to make sure they're bent just a little bit. There you go, Ken. Trainer, trainer in me. It's coming out, even though I'm supposed to be working out, keeping the elbows down below the shoulder. Man, that's such a hard thing for me to remember to yep, do. Yep, it's gonna feel less than you think. You don't need to pull up too much. There you go. That's like, I better. don't believe you. Like, Stop. I'm trying to fight. <laughs> Stop. Stop so high. <laughs> trying to fight there past you go. it. No, don't fight past it. <laughs> Saving the shoulder, but still getting the movement. There you go. Way better. Keep going, guys. Pulling them up. Out to the side. Don't go too high. Don't make me come put my hand there. And good. Down. All right. Got another pull through. Before we rest, we'll get a little bit of rest. Just a wee bit. We're up. You're in. Whew. You can do it with feet together, too, if you want to be real crazy. And the further you drag it, the more you have to twist to reach it, right? So get it over there, really drag it over. And then you'll feel a little more in the stomach too. The further you have to twist. Oh, that might have been too far. Don't make it go too far. Keep it close. Okay, going over again. Getting away from me as I get tired. Almost there, guys. Deep breath. Most of the work for today is done. Just have one more after this. Did awesome. Two, one, that's it. Check it out. It's starting. Starting the mop game. Check it out. Whew. I'm pausing it just for a second. You guys get a little rest at home. Sweats on my nose. Get a little rest at home. Some water. It's a hard one. It's a good one. Just with dumbbells. Like I mentioned, guys, I've just been using 15s this whole time. So for me, with a lot of these exercises, overhead presses, I could do 45s, no problem. 15s are tiring me out. So with you guys, 10s probably be great. Fives would probably be even good as well. Two gallons of something. Just invest in some 15s. Yeah, or just do that. It's easy. All right, here we go, guys. Last one. We're in. Squat. Just kidding. No. Renegade rows. <laughs> Renegade rows. You're in. Whichever one you were doing. I'm going to go both dumbbells this time. Doesn't bug my hand too much. I like to just pull right back up. Get a lot more back engagement. Push the feet into the ground. Both of them equally. When my left arm comes up, my right foot wants to start coming up. So keep them down. Almost there, guys. You got it. Stay flat. Don't let those hips drop. My lats are feeling it. Starts to plop a little more. <laughs> more tired I get. And down. Solid guys. Good work. Coming up. Grabbing both of those if you have both. And remember, elbows below the shoulders. Don't pull the weights above the boobs. <laughs> Keep them there. No higher than the chest. The chest. <laughs> there we go guys. How's Kendra looking? Huh. You got it? <laughs> Don't need to go too high. Just elbow in line or below the shoulder. Just keep moving. Stretch on the back of the legs. We're almost there. We're gonna stretch it out here in just a minute. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Almost there, my shoulders are happy right now. Come on, <laughs> keep going. It, Whew. 
What do we got? Pull throughs. Last one. Let's do it. And then I'm stretching. I'm tired. You're up, guys. Let's go. Try it different than last time. Maybe you pull it through a little further. Depending on your surface, it's going to make a difference in how difficult this is, too. Oh, might be sliding it across the hardwood floor. Slide pretty easy. These don't drag very well. We're almost there. Push, guys. You got it. Last little bit. I'm dripping sweat right now. Just about there. If you need to, you can drop onto your knees, but keep moving. Try not to stop. Seven seconds, I think. I'm reading that right over there. I'm trying to get a heads up. Come on, guys. Whew. That's it. You guys did awesome. Good work. Rest it out. I am tired. Sweat all over. Whew. Now I get a stretch. Our whole body. We're just going to start with the legs forward. Whew. She gave me the idea. You can just lean forward, shoulders back, get water if you need. Or we're just going straight in, leaning down, trying to stay tall first. Don't round the body. Reach into the low back a little bit. You guys are great today. If you have options for dumbbells, that's good too. Or one set of dumbbells, that's all you need. You don't need to get a bunch of them. You can do plenty with a medium sized weight. Now start to round the back a little bit. Maybe you can reach further for the toes. Good job, come on. We're gonna bring the feet together. Let's get those adductors, all those hip swings, all salty. And we're just gonna put the arms on the knees, a little stretch on the inner thighs, even push them down a little bit. Just take some deep breaths. It's a good workout. Pull your body forward if you can, hands on the feet. Oh, and letting that go, coming all the way back around, hands and knees, and we're going up. Press the hands into the ground, heels straight to the floor, and pushing the head in between the arms, kind of making an A-frame with the body. And then if you can, when you're ready, walking the hands all the way back to the feet, legs straight or bend them a bit. Deep breath and then slowly rolling all the way, standing tall. Woo. Nice work guys. Good, great. Shake it out. Get the arms and the lats going overhead. Ugh, trying to grab the elbow. When you're up here you can even squeeze your bicep a little bit. It'll help you stretch your tricep. And then you could even lean over a little. And letting that one go. Shake it out. Other side. Reaching for the elbow. Maybe squeezing the bicep. Pulling the body over a little. Guys are awesome. Good work today. Grab some dumbbells for yourself. Arms wide. I forget this sometimes. Give yourself a hug, pat on the back. Hard to take care of yourself and you guys are doing it. So it's awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the dumbbell workout. Like I said, two dumbbells, that's all you need. And I can even show you how you can do it with one. So just one thing is a good, uh, uh, something to have, one dumbbell. And that's all you need. So really guys, look into that and we'll come back with a couple more dumbbell workouts and I'll see you guys all soon. So thank you so much.